Queensland researchers have discovered a DNA abnormality shared by patients with throat cancer. They believe finding the cause of the damage could lead to dramatic advancements in treating and even preventing the disease. Phil Graham's life centres on music, even when cancer put his life in jeopardy. That was one of the first questions I asked when I had the endoscopy that diagnosed the cancer. Um, I asked him, will I still be able to sing? Doctors discovered an esophageal tumour was a cause of reflux and heartburn. When chemotherapy failed, radiotherapy and surgery followed. Esophageal cancer, or OCA, is Australia's fastest rising cancer with one of the worst survival rates. Queensland researchers have found one third of OCA sufferers have damaged DNA that causes what they call sudden chromosomal catastrophe. With these kind of events, what we think happens is that it will happen very suddenly within one cell division, and so you've now turned from something not so nasty into esophageal cancer. It's an important clue in the fight against the deadly disease. We will be able to um, tailor or personalise patients' therapy based on understanding the genetic abnormalities in their cancer. The hope is to eventually prevent the chromosomal catastrophe from occurring at all. If funded, researchers are confident that clinical trials could begin with OCA sufferers within two, two or three years. One year on from diagnosis and Phil Graham is in remission. If you're suffering from reflux, don't just treat it as something you can fix with over-the-counter medicine because it isn't necessarily the case. Early detection saved his singing voice and ultimately his life. Jacqueline Maddock, ABC News.